Hey, how's it going everyone? So after I posted my last video, several people asked me about my sled ski or smitty sled. And I haven't seen another one quite like mine, so I figured today I'd shoot a quick video and show you guys how it goes together and quickly describe how I built it. Now the most common method of building one of these seems to be bolting a couple of two by fours underneath the sled and then attaching the skis underneath those. I drive a small Ford Ranger. I barely have room for all my gear in the bed of my truck the way it is. So I needed to come up with a method that breaks down a little bit more compact. And this is what I came up with. So we'll start from the ground up with the skis. And I have everything torn apart right now as if I was just taking it out of the bed of my truck. And the skis here are a pair of downhill skis that I found at a thrift store. I think I paid like 10 bucks for these and they work great for this. And on each of the skis, I have two of these plastic blocks to hold onto the legs. And to make those, I used a sheet of one inch thick HDPE plastic. And I used a one inch hole saw like this. I stuck that in my drill press set the table to about a 30 degree angle and drill the one inch hole through the plastic. And then I cut out the little rectangular blocks like that. So we got about a 60 degree angle right there. It's 30 degrees off 90, I should say. And these plastic blocks are screwed in from the bottom of the ski. I used countersunk holes to keep it nice and smooth and not add any extra resistance there and each of the blocks has one of these shock cord loops coming out of it to hold on to the legs once they're in place and off the front tip of each of the skis i drilled a hole for the rope to go through and i've got about 10 feet of rope coming off the front of the skis i've got this knot right here and i measured a equal distance from this knot to the front of each of the skis so it always pulls nice and straight then in front of that knot i've got another oh two and a half three feet of rope and then a pvc handle okay onto the aluminum legs so to make these i used one inch outer diameter aluminum tubes and you can get these in various wall thicknesses i used eighth inch thick walls i figured that would be plenty i considered using 16th inch thick walls but i crammed probably 100 120 pounds of gear into my sled i figured i better go with the eighth inch just for a little bit more strength and i've had this set up for oh i think three or four years now never had it fail on me and i've pulled it over some pretty nasty snow drifts and i had to have these welded at a shop if you don't have a welder yourself or don't know somebody that'll do it for free it definitely pays to call around one shop i called quoted me at like 55 bucks just because they had a one hour minimum on labor another shop quoted me at 20 so that's where i ended up taking these and then i added these three quarter inch pvc pipe caps at the end of each of these bars and one thing i would do different if i was going to do this again when i took these in to have them welded I only had them leave a quarter inch of overhang there. I should have had them leave a half or three quarter inch because I did have to trim these caps down a little bit with my Dremel tool to get them to sit on there nicely. Then we've got these rings kind of in the middle of the tubes here. Those are actually PVC as well. I had to cut notches on them. I couldn't just slide them on because the legs were already welded on there. So. I just cut them, cut them in half basically, glued them on there where I wanted them, and then wrapped them in duct tape. And you'll see what those are for in just a minute. They haven't moved around on me at all, so that's worked pretty well. So the aluminum legs, they just slide right into those plastic blocks. And then that shock cord loop comes right up around the end of the aluminum tube there. Same thing on the back side. Okay. 
Okay, then onto the sled. So on the bottom of the sled, I added these four tabs that hold onto the aluminum bars. And to make those, I used HDPE plastic as well. I used half inch thick HDPE for those. I used that same one inch hole saw and then used my jigsaw to cut those out like so. And those screw in from the top side of the sled here. You can see I've got a nice big washer. And then I believe I used 10, 24 size machine screws on those as well. And all those screws, they thread directly into the plastic at HDPE hold screws pretty well. So those tabs, they sit right on the bars. And then these PVC rings, they sit right up along that inside edge of those tabs. And those just make sure everything stays nice and square. And my legs don't get all crooked on me. So there you have it. Really, if I'm not shooting video while I'm setting it up, it takes about 30 seconds. And I tell you what, you get 100 pounds of gear into that thing, and it is a night and day difference having those skis on the sled. It's really a nice thing to have for spots like this. I don't dare drive my truck out here, so I've got to pull the sled out. But even on those lakes that I can drive out on, my friend and I were out on another spot like that yesterday. We drove out, then we just loaded up the sled with a auger, a couple rods, a bait bucket, so we could stay mobile and do a little hole hopping and try to find the crappies. So it worked out great for that as well. So that's about it. There's one more look at it, the sled ski. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it answered any questions you might have or Maybe give you some ideas to build one for yourself. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.